we have a battery in a circuit which has an emf of 12 volts and an unknown internal resistance r and then we are told uh, to ignore the resistance of the connecting wires and the ammeter and then 8.1.1 says uh, write down the reading on volmeter v1 right so uh, we are told that switch s is open let's see what uh, switch s being open implies right so here's switch s here uh, that is open when this switch is open no current is flowing to all the external uh, resistors right so as a consequence uh, the volmeter v1 is gonna read uh, the emf of the battery uh, which is 12 volts but then realize something we're not saying that when a switch is open uh, a volmeter across the battery will read the emf that's not what we're saying if the switch is open such that all the other external resistors don't get any current then it's gonna read the emf so for instance uh, let me show you something let's say uh the switch was uh somewhere here right let's say this is where uh, the switch was uh, located if the switch was here then this 6 ohm uh, resistor that I'm circling will not get any current, right? Uh, the current will just flow, come to this uh, 6 ohm resistor, uh, resistor, come back to this 2.4 and then well, it will just pass here. It will not come here. So we still have uh, those other external resistors getting current and uh, the volmeter that is connected across the battery will not uh, read the EMF. So the volmeter is reading the EMF because all external resistors are not getting any current. And then for 8.1.2, we are supposed to write down the reading on volmeter V2. We've already said that all the external resistors are not getting current. So the reading on volmeter V2 will be uh, V2 equals to I multiplied by R. What is I? Um, we said that they're not getting any current, so I will be zero. Multiply by R, that will just be zero volt. And then uh, for 8.2, we are told that the switch S is now closed. And then we're given uh, the reading on the ammeter, uh, which is said to be 1.2 amps. And we are told that the power dissipated in resistor X is 5.76 watts. And then 8.2 says define the term power. That is pretty much easy and straightforward, right? Power is the rate at which work is done. Power is the rate at which work is done. The formula says so too because you know that power is equal to uh, the work divided by the time so it's just uh, the rate at which <coughs> work is done and then now we can move uh, to 8.3 8.3 says um, calculate the resistance of resistor x what information do we have about resistor x so for resistor x we know that the power dissipated is equal to 5.76 uh, watts right and then we know that the current at resistor x uh, will be equals to 1.2 amps so why are we saying that the current at uh, resistor x is 1.2 amps that is because the current is the same everywhere in a circuit right uh, it just divides in parallel resistors but then apart from that the current is the same everywhere else in the circuit uh, so if you want to find the resistance we can say that uh, so we get we have a resistance which we don't know right so if we relate those three terms we got we can say that uh, the power is equal to the current squared multiplied by the resistance uh, this is the formula we have uh, in electric circuits right and then so we're gonna have 5.76 which is equal to 1.2 squared multiplied by r so we just uh, we're just gonna have r equals to 5.76 divided by 1.2 squared uh, which is equal to uh, 4 ohms so now we have 
the resistance of uh, resistor X. Now let's uh, move to 8.4, which says uh, calculate uh, the total uh, resistance of the circuit. So we know that resistance total is equal to the sum of uh, the resistance in series plus the sum of the resistance in parallel. Uh, what, what What is the resistance in series? There's only one resistance series, right? Which is this resistor X here, which we said that is 4 ohms, right? So we can say our resistor in series uh, has a value of 4 ohm. Now we're supposed to calculate the resistance uh, in parallel, right? So uh, when the current is flowing, it's flowing, it's flowing, and then it's gonna split at this point, right? Uh, a proportion of the current will go that direction, and then a proportion of the current will go this direction. So this uh, 6 ohm resistor here is in parallel with these two resistors here because the current spilled and then it comes to the 6 ohm resistors and then uh, another proportion comes to these two resistors. So this 2.4 ohm resistors is in parallel with this 6 ohm resistor, which is not so obvious to many people, but that is the case. So now we can see uh, uh, the resistance in parallel. Uh, so usually people want to do it like this. Uh, 1 divided by resistance in parallel equals to 1 divided by uh, resistor 1 plus 1 divided by resistor 2 and so on. So we're going to have 1 divided by the resistance in parallel is equals to 1 divided by 6, right? Uh, being this one here. And then plus 1 divided by 6 plus 2.4 because uh, these two resistors are in parallel with this uh, 6 ohm resistor here. So we're going to have uh, 1 divided by resistors in parallel is equal to 1 divided by 6 plus 1 divided by 8.4. So if you put this in your calculator and you solve for uh, resistance in parallel, you get uh, the resistance in parallel to be equal to 3.5 ohms. So now we can see that the resistance to in total will be equal to 3.5 uh, ohms uh, plus uh, 4 ohms, right? Uh, this is uh, the resistance in parallel and then this is the resistance in series uh, which will just be equals to 7.5 ohms right yeah nothing complicated up to so far and then 8.5 says calculate um, the reading on voltmeter v2 so let me just erase some of the things i've put here so that we can try data mine uh, the reading on voltmeter v2 so we need the potential difference as a consequence of uh, this 6 ohm uh, resistor here. So what we know about uh, parallel resistors is that uh, the current is pulled, right? So this session will have uh, a certain uh, proportion of the current, Ix, uh, let's say. And then uh, this path will also have a proportion of the current, let's say, uh, Iy, right? Uh, but then another thing we know is that uh, the voltage is the same, right? The voltage that goes this side in this path is the voltage uh, that goes in this path, right? That's what we know about parallel resistors. So if we can determine the voltage that goes in this path and the voltage that goes in this path, which are the same, then we can then be able to calculate uh, the current in these two paths, right? And from the current, we can then determine uh, the voltage uh, difference as a, the potential difference as a consequence of uh, these six ohm resistors. So what I'm saying is that let's find voltage parallel. And from this voltage parallel, we're gonna be far, be able to find uh, the current which goes in this uh, path that is the six ohm resistor, and then from that uh, current we're gonna be able to find uh, V two, right? So let's see um, what that leads us. So we have uh, V P, uh, which is equal to the current in total uh, multiplied by uh, the resistance in parallel, right? So this this will be equals to 1.2 uh, because the current uh, is said to be 1.2, right? So it will be 1.2 multiplied by 3.5. Why are we multiplying by 3.5? Because the resistance in parallel is 3.5. And then uh, this will give you 4.2 volts. 
So now we can calculate the current uh, that goes down um, in this path. So we, get, we can say that uh, this current is equals to the voltage divided by the resistance, right? What is the voltage? The voltage is the same on both paths, and we have seen that is 4.2 volts. And then the resistance. Now the resistance is not 3.5, but is rather 6 plus uh, 2.4, right? Because we only want the current, uh, the proportion of the current that goes down in that direction. So that will be 4.2 divided by 8.4 which is equals to 0 0.5 so now that we have the current uh, that will flow through this 6 ohm resistor and this 2.4 ohm resistor we can then find the potential difference that is being uh, picked up by the voltmeter 2 right so we're gonna say voltmeter 2 uh, will be will give us a reading of uh, the current uh, multiplied by the resistance obviously so that will be 0 0.5 um, multiply by 6 ohms uh, which is 3 volts so this V2 here will read uh, 3 volts now uh, what you can think about is what will the reading uh, if we connect let's say we connect um, a voltmeter here let's call it uh, V3 V3 what will be the reading on V3 Please, can you can you please solve the problem and then you can drop your answer in the comment section and I'm gonna tell you if it's correct or not. What will be the reading on voltmeter 3?